to tell the truth. No one else can see. Hey everyone, Bronte here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's extreme clean with me, we are going to be doing a bunch of deep cleaning. We are going to be doing some organizing and I am also going to be stripping some laundry. I am going to be stripping the couch cushions and deep cleaning them. And I will show you just what I mean by that in a few minutes, but we are going to get this couch all cleaned up because as you can see it's a mess it is stained it is dirty and it is disgusting and we are going to take care of that today as well as doing some cleaning around the house but before we get too far into the video i would love to introduce you to one of my great friends here on youtube her name is alia her channel is alia martins here on youtube she is so motivating so sweet and you guys will just love her, so be sure to head on over to her channel. After you are done watching this video, watch her video and subscribe because I promise you will love all of the content on her channel. Her recent deep clean and declutter was everything and she shared a little fall haul on there. She is a mama of two young ones just like I am and I know you guys will just love her. So go on over there after you watch this and leave her a comment saying hi, introducing yourself and telling her that you are coming from my channel. So as I mentioned, we are going to be doing some laundry stripping today. I'm going to show you exactly how we do that here in a few minutes, but we are going to strip the couch cushions. This couch is about seven years old and it has never really been cleaned. So you guys, we are going to get the cleaning done on this baby today. I am going to be removing the cushion covers. Obviously, if you do not have removable cushion covers, you can't do your couch, but you can do this to so many other laundry items like your bath towels, your sheets, shower curtains, workout clothes, clothing in general, and it works really well at removing built up softener, stains, and just anything that has like a residual odor, whether it be from washing it or not. First thing we're gonna do is try to remove some stains using this Felth's Naphtha laundry stain remover bar this works amazing it is so much better than any spray that i have ever used and i believe it was only about seven dollars for two of these bars and i haven't even opened the second bar yet this bar has lasted me months and it still has such a long way to go but the first thing that you're going to do is wet the area with the stain and then rub the bar over it let it sit for a little bit before you throw it in the wash and since my cushions are washable, I'm going to throw these in the washing machine before stripping them. You want to do that with anything that you are stripping, whether it be your towels or your sheets, wash them first. And I'm just going to be using Arm & Hammer plus OxyClean laundry detergent and running these on the bulky cycle and getting those all nice and cleaned up. And then we are going to move on to stripping these. And I will show you exactly how you do that and why you want to do it. You think you're going to be rejected. So for the laundry stripping, I am going to be using a quarter cup measuring cup. I'm going to be using a quarter of this Calgon water softener. I will include the recipe down below in the description box if you want to strip your laundry. A quarter cup of the Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. I got all of these at Walmart. They were super easy to find. A quarter cup of borax. And then you're going to want to use a heaping scoop of powdered Tide laundry. It has to be the powdered, cannot be the liquid. But you guys, powder tied laundry is good for so many uses around the house and I'll show you a couple more later. And you just mix everything up. You want the hottest water that comes out of your tap and then you just start throwing in the laundry that you are gonna be stripping. Today it is going to be the couch cushion covers because they are disgustingly dirty and definitely needed it. But you can do this with your bath towels, your sheets, workout clothes, or any clothing that you guys are wearing especially that sweaty stuff. If you are a hockey mom or a hockey player yourself, try this out. I have heard this is great for your hockey gear as well. So you're just gonna wanna mix all of this up like you're making some super dirty, disgusting soup in your bathtub with all the ingredients, the hot water, and the laundry that you are gonna be stripping. And then you're just gonna let that sit until the bath water cools. This is just from putting them in and mixing this up. They were so disgusting, I cannot wait to show you the final result of the water because oh my gosh it is so gross but so satisfying so before we go and mix those up again i'm going to strip all of the bedding off of my bed because these need to be washed as well they need to be washed and they need to be bleached but we're, before we go downstairs to throw everything in the wash let's check on that laundry give it a little mix up and then we are going to let it soak for a few hours as you can see the water is disgusting after just about 10 minutes so we're going to mix it up and we're going to let it soak
Now let's get to cleaning up the rest of the couch. Today we are going to vacuum up the couch, get all of the crumbs off of it from my two little ones. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old, and they are like human crumbs. There's crumbs everywhere, always, all of the time, no matter how many times a day I vacuum and clean up. So we're going to try to get as many of these crumbs up as possible using the Shark Rocket vacuum. It works great. If you are in the market for a vacuum, I highly, highly recommend this. We are also going to be cleaning behind the couch and underneath the ottoman because like I said, I have two little ones so there's always stuff getting shoved underneath the couch, underneath the ottoman and all the places that it doesn't belong. So we're gonna pick it up and then we're gonna vacuum up the rug area as well and we are just gonna work our way around the living room, just picking everything up, cleaning underneath the spaces that get neglected quite often and just making sure that everything is all nice and clean before we put all of those couch cushions back on later in this video. Cleaning behind the couch is definitely something that I do not do very often, as you can see. It is not as bad as I was expecting it to be, but there are a bunch of little toys under here. There's a bunch of crumbs, old food, and just a bunch of wrappers. I don't know why they haven't made their way to the trash can, but here we go. We're cleaning it up. And we are also going to mop behind the couch. That is something that I never do because I just never feel like moving the couch. The baseboards are going to need to be wiped down, so we're going to take care of that as well. There's hair all over them, and they just need some serious love. So we're going to take care of that today. I'm going to vacuum everything up first before moving on to mopping, and then I'm going to show you a great mop concoction that I have been using to get the floor super nice and clean and disinfected as well. I'm going to be using my Oceater Easy Ring Mop and I'm filling the bucket up to the max level with hot hot water, a couple tablespoons of powdered Tide laundry, and a couple splashes of bleach. This is a great concoction to use to mop your floors. The powdered Tide laundry will help break up any of that fogginess left behind on your flooring from other cleaners like the Bona Cleaner or the Method Spray and Mop, any spray and mop kind of cleaner that leaves a filmy layer on your flooring. This is a great way of breaking it up. That powdered Tide Laundry is a surfactant and it will help break up all of that stuff, the buildup on your flooring. So I highly recommend trying this. It works so well. I use this on my baseboards as well. I use it on my walls. It works great for so many things. I actually picked up this tip from Go Clean Co on Instagram. Go and give them a follow if you love cleaning stuff because they have some seriously great deep cleaning tips. And that is my favorite Instagram to follow right now for all of my cleaning tips. They are amazing. They have like the whole cleaning army thing going on over there. So if you have an Instagram, go and give them a follow. And while you are at it, go and give me a follow over on Instagram. Aaliyah and I are actually in the middle of doing a giveaway with a bunch of other YouTube ladies and it ends on September 26th. So be sure to go and enter that and check it out. It is posted in our stories and we will be posting about it throughout the week. It ends September 26th of 2020. So be sure to enter before then but we are gonna get back to the cleaning. I am done talking your ear off about Instagram. I am going to dust this shelf over in our living room. It's been a while since I've done it, so I'm just going to dust everything on it with a microfiber cloth and just dust it off itself. And then we are gonna dust a bunch of other stuff in the living room as well before we finish vacuuming everything up and mopping the rest of the living room. i 
sleep like an overdose You're the antidote Losing sleep, I am in too deep Does anyone else forget to dust their artificial plants? I always forget that these leaves need to be dusted and they don't get washed down because they're not getting watered like my other real plants. So I'm going to dust these off today and as you can see, the dust and the dirt that was built up on them was absolutely <laughs> disgusting. They were so dirty, you guys. So friendly reminder to go and dust your artificial plants and wipe them down. Another mopping tip that I've picked up from Go Clean Co on Instagram is to spin your mop until it's damp, not soaking wet, so that you don't leave streaks behind on your floor. It actually works really, really well. But if you do have that white buildup from mopping your floor with a spray and mop kind of cleaner, you might have to go over it a few times with powdered Tide laundry in your water, in your hot water. The hotter the water, the better it is going to be at breaking up all of that foggy stuff left behind on your floors. As you can see here, I have very dark floors in my living room area and they definitely have that foggy film on them. So I'm going to have to do this a few more times to get it all perfect. But let's take a peek at the dirty, nasty couch cushions. You guys, I let them soak for three to four hours and let the water completely cool and the water was so disgusting i couldn't even see my hand when i stuck it in there to unplug the bathtub it was that dirty and that disgusting so since i don't have a huge bucket i just lined my laundry basket with a big huge trash bag one of those outdoor trash bags and i'm going to wring out the couch cushion covers to the best of my ability so that it's easy to walk them down the stairs but you want to make sure that you're wringing them all out as much as you can because you are going to put them in your washing machine and you don't want to overload it with weight i don't get what this is about you got my head spinning on my shoulders i feel a burn inside of my chest see the lines as they blur out i can feel it knocking me out you're bringing me higher and higher in every way and all of my doubts i can feel them they're fading away oh you like a fantasy i know this can't be real i'm falling i'm falling i'm falling way down all illusion cause you got I was not messing around at saying that the water was disgusting. Strip your laundry, send me a picture or tag me on Instagram after you do it, especially if you're doing your couch cushions or your towels. I really want to do my sheets and my towels next and just see how disgusting they actually are because like I said, you wash this stuff before. It's clean laundry when you put it in the bathtub to strip it. So now we are just going to load up these couch cushions into the washing machine and get these all washed up. And I am just gonna be using some powdered Tide laundry detergent, just like I did when we were doing the stripping and putting all the ingredients in the bathtub. I just have to remove my liquid detergent cup to use my powdered Tide laundry. And then I just filled it up to the one line on the measuring cup that comes with the powdered Tide laundry. And we're gonna wash it on a bulky cycle with some hot water and get these all nice and cleaned up. And then you just throw them in the dryer after you are done. Just go about your normal washing. 
But for now, we are going to clean up the laundry room because the shelf is a little bit messed up. There's stuff in here that doesn't even belong in the laundry room. So we're going to declutter it a little bit, organize it a little bit better, and then we are going to deep clean this laundry room as well. A bit more organized and I can actually find what I need in here I am going to be doing a laundry room makeover here shortly I am in the middle of doing two bathroom makeovers right now we kind of had an emergency bathroom makeover happen in my kids bathroom when the toilet tank cracked and flooded their bathroom floor so I'm in the middle of two bathroom makeovers and then we will be moving on to doing a laundry room makeover a loft makeover and a master bedroom makeover so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel stick around and subscribe for a bunch of makeover videos I love doing them and I love sharing everything with you guys so be sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around for those we are going to be using method lime and sea salt all-purpose cleaner to wipe everything down in the laundry room today we're going to wipe down the top of the washing machine and the dryer we're going to wipe down the fronts the sides and we are going to be wiping down the shutters and pretty much everything in here as well I am also going to take the vacuum and get behind the washer and dryer to make sure that I'm getting up any lint hair dust anything that's collected behind there that could be a fire hazard and make sure that we're just getting everything all nice and cleaned up Distracted, subconscious, overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me And to mop the floors in here today, I'm just going to be using that same mixture of powdered Tide Laundry hot water and bleach. You can also take your mop and run them along your baseboard so that you don't have to get on your hands and knees and wipe your baseboards down. But the laundry room is all nice and cleaned up. It's a little bit more straightened up and organized up on that shelf. We will take care of that more so in the laundry room makeover that we are going to be doing in the near future here. And now that the cushions have dried, we are going to put some lavender essential oil on this wool dryer ball, throw it in the dryer and throw those cushion covers in there as well and just dry them on a normal cycle and then get the couch all put back together. Not even gonna lie, it was really hard to get some of these cushion covers back on. The upper pillows had expanded because my kids were playing with them while everything was being washed and they just kind of expanded and were really hard to get back in the cushion cover. So I had to edit out 
a lot of the footage of me trying to get them in because I was extremely frustrated, but I am so pleased with how clean they got and how much better they look. There are way less stains on them now and they don't just have like that dirty, dingy look. You probably know what I'm talking about when you just like look at a couch and you know it's kind of dirty and needs to be clean. The couch had not been cleaned for the seven years of it being around, so these definitely needed it. As you can see, the difference from the arm to the cushions. I do not have a carpet cleaner. I should probably invest in one to use on the rest of the couch, but I am amazed at how much cleaner they look and feel and smell. So you guys, strip your laundry, check it out, try it, and let me know how it works for you. Like I said, I really wanna do my towels and my sheets, so maybe we'll do that in a future video, but I am so pleased with how much cleaner they look. There are a few stains that are left behind, but the couch is seven years old. I have two kids and a dog, and that's to be expected. So we're gonna get the couch straightened up, get everything put back in order, and get it all squared away and looking how it's supposed to, and finish up straightening up this living room. Before your life was so boring I got up, went to work Just to get back home and repeat Before you I just felt nothing I didn't dare to take risks Now we be staying up all night We don't have to sleep cause we're crazy In love, yeah Oh, even if we start to fight We know we can work it out, baby If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and stick around for a ton of cleaning motivation every single week, as well as DIY home makeovers on a budget. I have a ton of those coming up and I just love sharing those with you guys. I hope that you have found this video motivating and if you do the laundry stripping, share it on Instagram, send me a picture, tag me in it. I wanna see all the satisfying, disgusting, dirty water. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. It means so much more than I can ever explain. And thank you so, so, so much for over 20,000 friends here on YouTube. It means the world to me to have you all here. Do not forget to go and check out Aaliyah's channel and her video and subscribe to her channel because you guys are going to love her and you do not want to miss out on any of her uploads either. So hit the subscribe button over here, over on Aaliyah's channel and Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching and have a super amazing day. I will catch you in the next video.